Hey guys, thanks for tuning into Alliance Tech. So today I'm going to show you a spiral freezer made by IJ White. So these IJ White spiral freezers are amazing. They're beautiful stainless steel spiral freezers. They're for process freezing. So the customer's bringing their product in, it goes all the way up, goes out frozen. And uh, IJ White makes a really, really good freezer. And uh, we are one of their installing contractors and we love to install their spiral freezers because they're so beautiful. Um, main guys that we work from IJ White are Niv and Robert. Uh, they're great guys. Have uh, anything you ask them, any, any help you need, they're there 100% for you. Um, and we, they like working with us, and we like working with them. So let's get inside so I can show you what I'm looking at. IJ White Spiral Freezer. So right now it's off right now. So we're gonna go ahead. And we're gonna see what's going on inside here. Got the PLC, all the VFDs for the fans, conveyors, and the louvers inside the system. So, um, right now I don't believe it's on. I don't know if I'm allowed to turn it on. But the infeed, we got some guys working in here right now. So, the infeed of this bottle freezer is right here. And we're going to be bringing in, in their product in this side of the freezer here. And we'll go ahead and ch check out the inside of the freezer. So let me, let me show you that. <clears throat> so here's the inside of the spiral freezer. Here's actually the conveyor belt. That's why they call it a spiral because the product will come in and it will go all the way up. And in that time, it's gonna have <clears throat> it's going all the way up and you can notice that there's a there's like a floor up there that floor is you're able to walk on it as well as <clears throat> as you need those ladders they go all the way up there but also diverts the air so they, there's big fans up there three big fans that blow the air it, through the spiral it comes down this way and then comes back into the into the coils here and you notice there's louvers on each coil what these coils do is that when one coil needs to go into defrost, so that lube will close and that one coil will particularly go into defrost, okay? So that will allow the system to defrost while it's running. So there's no shutdown, they're always running, there's always continuous feed through the, through the coil here. So let's go ahead and uh, look at this side of the freezer. And with with IJ weight freezers, they're extremely nice. I haven't, I haven't they're a little, a little harder to put together than some, but, but as far as running, here's your safety pull cord. So if you're in here, you get caught the conveyor or anything, all you have to do is yank that thing and it will stop everything. And as you come into the freezer here, oh, and this is kind of neat here. So when you open the door here, or there's a safety something, safety, you have to come in here and do that. That, um, that reset, that's your reset. So you have to come in here and reset this this uh, pull in here. It's all the way inside here, just because if there's somebody in here, it makes you check that area. So you have physically have to come all the way in here to check and make sure <clears throat> that everything's okay. And there's your resets on your pull cords. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go up top here. Let me see, I'll put you in my pocket when I go up there. That I was telling you about <clears throat> and the arrow shoots up comes right down on the product here okay product is going to come up here's the outfeed and that goes out the spiral freezer there so <clears throat> kind of neat so if you guys haven't seen something like this before it's uh, pretty cool so industrial refrigeration has a lot of a lot of fields we enter we enter process cooling and uh this is a major process here. So I'll tell you, uh, IJ White, look at this. Beautiful connectors here, everything's awesome. Now these are kind of new, 
haven't seen it on the last one <coughs> um, but yeah no issues this thing's going together pretty smoothly guys it's one of the <laughs> you can't really say that about startups because it really doesn't go smoothly but as smooth as it could possibly go we are we're good to go so i'm gonna put you in my pocket again <clears throat> need both your hands okay all right so let's go check the back side of this the coils here and i'll show you what's going on over there all right guys so we are on the back side of the spiral freezer coil here so you can see there's one two three four five six coils here look at this piping job really good extremely good piping job you got freon sensors in here too so you got a freon sensor there and your horns and strobes there so if there's any leak in here we should be notified yeah there's a leak you know get out here um, so uh, you get your fan disconnects here for your fans up there there's your fans so um it's gonna be kind of hard to change out if they fail but we'll probably change them out on the other side uh, back here if you're in here and you get stuck in here you can stop the spiral freezer back here too so make sure these are reset so you pop these and see it turns red right there so and so and that resets it so good to go this is just some extra space here the coils are evapco really nice drain line heaters <clears throat> pretty neat setup here guys pretty neat so i don't know if you guys can tell what kind of qualities are but uh those look like uh recirculated coil bottom fed coils to me so kind of neat really neat let's go see if they're bottom fed sure are so here's your here's your well here there's nothing Nothing right here. So here's your liquid coming in. Feeds in the bottom, feeds in your, your, your distributor here on this side. <clears throat> feeds in your bottom circuits and then comes up to the side and everything kind of flows upwards here to the top and then, then out your suction. Pretty neat guys. Here's your hot gas, your drain pan, hot gas in, your check valve, it comes in here. Okay, so it can't come back out your suction because there's a suction stop valve up there and then uh, your your pressure will force all the liquid down hot gas warm the coil up and the defrost is the coil through latent heat of condensation <clears throat> and then all your all your um your water will drip down and drain out the drain pan and will and all that liquid will come back up your liquid line here and it'll hit a check valve at the at the coil at the liquid liquid valve and divert it through a regulator that goes back into suction so um but that's per coil here so we have six zones one two three four five six and there's six sets of valve stations up on top of the box so uh, i don't think i can get to it right now they moved my scissor lift and they got a bunch of product in the way so i'll show you guys that a little later